In the 1970s, it was very rare for a film of unknown actors and an amateur crew to be massively successful. Films such as The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Halloween were really the only two big films to do this before our movie today. Our film today is of course the 1979 film written by, directed by, shot by, produced by and edited by Don Coscarella, Phantasm. I didn't know what to expect from Phantasm. I didn't know if it was a supernatural classy horror film, a gory gross out horror movie, or a psychological horror. The film I got was kind of a mixture of the three minus the classy. Phantasm is based on a unique and interesting idea. The villain of the film is the tall man. The tall man can morph into attractive women, have sex with men, and then kill them making it look like a suicide. The tall man works as a mortician. When everyone leaves funerals, he steals the corpses, takes them back to his home planet, and uses them as slaves. The film is mainly about a 13 year old boy called Mike and his older brother Jody. Mike sees the tall man steal one of the corpses and starts to suspect something. He tells Jody but Jody doesn't believe him. Mike then breaks into the tall man's house and is chased. This scene in my opinion is maybe the scariest scene in the movie. I was on the edge of my seat throughout the entire chase. The music suits it really well and the invincibility of the tall man makes the scene even creepier. Mike manages to carve the tall man's fingers and he keeps one of them to show Jody. After he does this, the finger turns into a little monster and attacks Mike and Jody. Then they decide they need to fight the tall man. They bring in their neighbor Reggie to help as well. The final confrontation is really impressive and is full of really well done visuals. In fact, a lot of the sets and designs throughout the movie are fantastic. You wouldn't be able to make this movie now on a $300,000 budget. The movie is full of scary moments and it's one of the scariest movies I've seen in a long time. It builds up the tension all throughout the movie with its slow scenes, atmosphere and unpredictable jump scares. One of my favourite things about it is how there is a massive lack of answers. That may sound hypocritical because I normally shout at things for not answering questions. However, in horror movies especially, a lack of answers can make the movie creepier and more mysterious. It definitely works here and after the ending twist, you have no idea what just happened. A lot of love and effort was put into the film, but it isn't really until about 15 to 20 minutes into the film when it really gets good. Before that, it feels like a really cheap B-movie that you'd expect to see on Mystery Science Theater 3000. The special effects are also a little cheesy at times, but it's the originality that makes up for all these problems. The acting can be a little bit wooden at times, but since a lot of the people in the film weren't really actors to begin with, you can't really blame them. Phantasm is one of those rare films that is both incredibly fun and incredibly scary. You enjoy the film despite the fact you keep getting scared, and that is my favourite type of horror movie. That's why I love movies such as Gremlins, Fright Night, and Evil Dead 2. Although Phantasm has a lot of flaws, it also has many, many good things about the movie. I can definitely see why the sequel were made and honestly I'm glad it had a sequel which is something I don't normally say. I give Phantasm a 9.5 out of 10.